my beautiful subscribers. Um, so excuse barely any makeup on, like only like eyeliner, mascara, and concealer because A, just didn't feel like putting it on today. And B, also with along with me not feeling like putting my eyes, I mean, and on today I also, this is honest to God truth, my eyes are like kind of like, not my inside of my eyes, but like my eyelids are kind of burning and like they kind of hurt. So like I didn't want to um, put on eyeshadow just in case I'm something's going on with them um so I wanted to give my eyes a break and like right here burns too but I don't know so I wanted to keep it natural and I have work today so I really just feel like relaxing instead of spending all my time doing makeup I wanted to film this video and then relax before I have to go to work tonight um so yeah so right uh, today I'm doing my September favorites and yes excuse the hoodie I'm just like under the weather today and um, my eyes burn, my eyelids burn, I have a headache, and I'm like really tired, so sorry about the hoodie, I know I usually wear them for my Sunday chill videos, my coffee times and stuff, but I'm just cold and I don't feel good, so excuse the hoodie, I'm sure you guys don't mind, and if you do, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's just get on with my favorites before this turns too long, because I have kind of a lot of favorites, even though I didn't wear a lot... Like, I didn't wear makeup a whole lot in September, because like I said, September was a crappy month for me. It was like a really bad month, and really bad and stressful month for me. So I'm hoping October will be better, but um, so far so good. Um, so, I mean, I guess this is the stuff I, on the days I would wear makeup, which is when I worked, when I work at MAC or like... I had like something like a special event going on. This is what I would wear. Um, so yeah. Anyway, my first, I'm gonna just go randomly. I'm not gonna go in any specific order. But my first favorite that I see in my handy dandy bag is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I love this. I have very, very dry skin. So this is like perfect for um, hydrating my dry skin. Um, this is for oily. Um, people, well, actually on the bottle it says for very dry to dry combination. So I have like normal to dry skin, and my skin starts to get dry when the seasons are like changing, like especially how my bipolar state is. Like one day it'll be like 60 degrees, and then the next day it's like 80. So, um, yeah, my skin reacts with the weather. So I highly recommend this. It really does clean up my dry areas. Um, so yeah. My next favorite, and you guys already know this, this will forever be one of my favorites, and it's my Tiffany necklace um, that my grandma got me in New York City this summer. Um, it looks like this. Focus. Can we focus, lady? Okay. Well, the lights are too bright for you guys to read what it says, but it just says... Um, Please return to Tiffany and Co. New York 925, which is the address. And I love this because it's so simple but yet so sentimental. And remember, like, I went to the New York City Tiffany and Co. And it's just where Audrey Hepburn was. And it's just sentimental because my grandma gave it to me. She's honestly the best, and I love her to death. Um, I just love her so much. And she's like my best friend, but um, I can't thank my Mimi enough for getting me this. Um, and I want to, I'm going to New York City um, in December because my boss from work is taking all of us um, from the spa. Um, she's taking all of us to New York City. So I'm probably going to go and get the matching bracelet or something, something from Tiffany's because you got to go at Christmas time. But I definitely need to get this clean soon because. Sterling silver you have to clean and it is getting a little bit dirty so I need to go clean that. I've been to the mall so many times and I know a place that cleans it for free, I just forget. Um, anyway, um, my next favorite is my MAC Fix Plus. I just love this like on days, actually I'm going to do it right now. Um, I just love this on days even when I'm not wearing face makeup or not wearing any makeup at all. It just really hydrates and refreshes my face. It just feels so good. It smells good. And yeah. My next favorite is my um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You guys already know, like, this is like my favorite. Um, 
yeah, I love this like so much. Excuse me, I just like hiccup. Um, anyway, um, yeah, this is like my so like I love this so much. It's very full coverage, and I just love it because it cover up my under eyes and it's easy to blend and I love it so much I really want to try the Maracuja I forget I don't know how to pronounce it Maracuja I think it is concealer by Tarte because I hear that's like super full coverage and that's what I need because even though this is full coverage you still could kind of see my um now that's getting colder I don't know why I seem I feel like with colder months like the more prominent my dark circles are so now this is not covering them up as much, but yeah. My next favorite is my MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. And honestly, I love this. Like, people used to complain about it and, like, stuff. But honestly, like, I really like this foundation. Not necessarily that I need foundation or anything, and I don't wear foundation too often. But I use this for the days that I do work at MAC, so I have, I could, like, be like, if I'm like trying to sell a product to somebody I could be like or if they're looking for a foundation and I know it's good I'm like oh well this is what I'm wearing on my face and stuff because I needed a foundation for MAC that could be like oh like this is what I'm wearing and, and it's good because um, like I said I want to look older for MAC because you guys know I have a very young face so when I'm at MAC and I'm just wearing eyeshadow eyeliner and concealer people just think I'm a customer so like I try to do full face when I'm at MAC to make myself look older um so people will come to me um so yeah anyway I just love this it's buildable coverage and honestly since it's medium to full coverage like honestly like it you don't feel it on your face at least to me I don't know about other people but I honestly don't feel this on my face it feels like lightweight um it's just a really nice foundation and I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is like how it has that weird like scent to it. I don't know. But yeah. And I, like I said before, I don't wear foundation every day. Like I'm not wearing any today. The only thing I'm wearing is concealer. Like I don't wear foundation too often. It's just whenever. Um, my next favorite is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is also good on days where I'm like a little bit more red. Like if um. Um, my cheeks get red or something. I just like to wear this, dust this on my face. Again, I don't usually put powder on my face. Mostly I just use this to um, set my concealer in. And I just love this because it's so natural and it will forever be my favorite powder. Like, yeah, forever will be my favorite powder. Um, my next favorite is my MAC Extenda or 3D Extra Dimension Lash. I love this, uh, by far my favorite mascara, I use it every day, um, gives so much volume and curl and like length and I just like it so much because it honestly kind of looks like you have false lashes on if you put on enough layers, but I just love it so much. Um, next is my Hula bronzer and this is part of like my lazy day routine. So usually I'd wear this on days like today where I'm just doing eyeliner, concealer, but I just don't feel like having anything on my face because I don't feel good. But usually um, I do this um, hula bronzer um, just to dust on my face and make give me some color. So yeah. And if I want a more of a natural bronze. Next is my Kat Von D contour kit. You guys know this is my favorite. Um... I just love this. I want to try more con. I need to get into more contour kits because like this is always in my favorites, and I feel like it probably gets annoying of me showing you the same contour kit over and over. But honestly, this is just my ride or die. I really, really like this. Um, so yeah, keeper ten out of ten. Um. Now we can just go on to brushes, I guess, because I do have a couple brushes. Just get these over with. These are my favorite brushes for this month. Um, yes, these lovely things right here. This is the Morphe 510, and this is highlighting. I just love this because it's nice and small. I'm just perfect for highlighting. Like, you could get right in there, get right in your, um, get right in the area where you need to highlight. It's small enough. And where it won't mess up your contour, your blush. It's just that perfect little highlight brush that everybody needs. 
Next is the Morphe E8, and I don't know if this is you're supposed to use this for this, but I do because it's small enough. And this is um, I use this for cream, my cream bronzer, my Chanel bronzer that you I'll mention here in a second. And how did I get black all over me? Okay, I don't know how this stuff happens, but anyway, um, this is just perfect. I like to use this for my cream contour because it's nice and small, and I feel like it defines the contour that much more. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. Next is my Morphe R10, and I love this for powder contour. Like, you do the fishy face, and it just gets right in the contour. Like, it's just really amazing. Like, it just fits right in there. So, yes, I highly recommend this also. And then, um, last but not least, my next favorite brush is my MAC. Um, 170, and I love this with the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. It just like buffs it in so nicely and doesn't leave streakies, and it's just really amazing for um, applying foundation. It just buffs it in nicely, and it's just really, really nice. Next is my Chanel, um, my Bronze Universal. Um, Soleil Tande Chanel bronzer. You guys know I love this. I'm obsessed with this. I use this basically every day. Like, no joke. Like, I just love this. Um, I say every day, but I'm not wearing it today. But you guys know, I mean, I just love this so much. And I do highly recommend this. 10 out of 10. Like, if you don't have your hands on this, please do. And if you can't afford it, just please save up your money for it because you will not regret it. I mean, yeah, 50 bucks is, like, really expensive for a bronzer, but I promise you, you won't regret it, especially for how much product you get in here. It's totally worth it. Next is my Tartlet in the Bloom palette, and it's not the whole palette. There's three shades I've been using that I've been loving personally, and it's Charmer, which is this white shade, and the thing, I just love um, Sweetheart and Rebel so much. You just mix these two together, and they're honestly so amazing. That's why. I... Those, those, these three shadows are what I used in my, um, fall, um, makeup routine. Um, they just make my eyes pop, they make my eyes look so blue, and it just really makes my eyes stand out, and yeah. Um, next is my, my, uh, my Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I've just been loving this. I've been loving, um, this blush right here, which is... If I'm reading this right, Armana, Armoretto or something. And then obviously Champagne Pop. Um, I just love it because I feel like these two, Champagne Pop and Armoretto is just the perfect fall shades. Perfect fall blush and then a perfect fall highlight. So I just love this very much and I've been using it a lot. Um, next is my MAC Prepper and Prime um, Skin Base. I love this. It just gives you that natural nice glowy look and I've talked about this enough so you guys already know how much I love this but it's just a really nice primer and it looks gorgeous under any foundation um next favorite is I know I haven't had this this long but I feel like I should still show it to you because I've been wearing it every day since I've gotten it and it's the MAC um Nikki's Nude um lipstick um it just goes with my everyday fall look really good. And these, Nicki Minaj did amazing on these lipsticks. But um, I love pink print too. I just haven't worn it enough to play to have it as my favorite. So it'll, pink print will probably show up in next month's favorite because I do love that. And I've been using that a lot lately too. Um, but yeah, I literally love this and it goes with my everyday eyeshadow look. And then to go with that, I love Subculture Lip Liner. It just looks really nice with it. Um, on Saturday when I was doing the girls' makeup I at MAC, I paired these those two together for the lips, so, yeah. Um, then, um, for eyeliner, you guys know I already love this. Um, it's my MAC Smolder Eyeliner. Um, and yeah, it's just so creamy, glides on really easily. I didn't bring out my Stila liquid eyeliner because you guys know I rave about it so much. And you guys already know I use that for my top. And I didn't bring out my Black Check Fruit line 
because you guys already know my opinion on it. It just glides on really smoothly, and I do it for when I do. I use my black track fluid line for my wings, and it's like the perfect tool to use for if you want to do wing eyeliner. So sorry I didn't bring that out, but I figured you guys already know that I love it, so I didn't need to bring it out. And then my last favorite, well. Then my next favorite is my Too Faced Challenge insurance. I feel like I've talked about it enough, so I don't know why I even brought this out because, um, I don't know why. But when it says 24 hour wear, it, it actually does last a really long time. I don't notice any creasing or anything. Then I have my Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. Again, another favorite of mine. Wear it every day. Um, yeah, I just like how it makes my brow looks, but I do want to try other brow products just so I'm not using the same products every month and I need to venture out on more brow products. But um also um I forgot to bring out my Ardell lashes. Um those are my favorite this month. They're the natural demi wispies. I love those. I've been loving wearing fake eyelashes. I don't wear them every day of course, but sometimes on the weekend or whatever if I want to be more fancy or, or especially for MAC like I like to wear lashes for MAC so I really do love them because they look natural but they just give you that extra oomph like you can't really tell if you're wearing fake eyelashes unless I like tell you where I look down or whatever so yeah another one of my favorites is my um Duncan Caramel um with Mocha I literally love this. I drink it like all the time and it's just so good. I love having caramel and mocha mixed in. And then also my Dunkin' Ham, Egg, and Cheese Wake Up Wrap. You guys already know that I'm obsessed with these. So yeah, it just looks like this. <laughs> then um, fashion favorites, I have a couple. Um, one, it's this Thrasher sweatshirt. I just love it. It's so cute and warm and comfy. I also been liking my mom jeans that I forgot to take out of the laundry to show you guys, but oh well. And then also I've been loving my Shadow Hill. I just love this because A, it like makes the eyes pop and I just think it looks really cool and it's a really trendy sweatshirt. Then next I've been loving these. Um, I obviously don't wear these every day because my state is bipolar, so... I can't wear these every day because one day it's like 60 degrees and the next day it's 80s. But when I do have cold days, I usually gravitate towards these. It's my thigh high boots. They look really cute with dresses. And I usually wear them at MAC to make my look a little taller and older again. But um, yeah. And then my last favorite is my phone. I have the iPhone 8 Plus. And I'm probably going to do. A what's on my iPhone so let me know if you guys are interested in that um but yeah I literally love it and I don't regret not getting the X um because honestly like I said it's the same thing as the X except I think the only difference is it's the face recognition in the iPhone X's camera might be a tad um better and then also I just don't have the emoji thing but that thing that don't matter to me but anyway, those were my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry for my appearance and sorry for being like not myself again. I'm just like, I'm not like feeling good this week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. And don't forget to subscribe and go follow my beauty Instagram and turn on my notifications. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching guys. Bye!